guys, so we got the engine out. Engine's on the stand now, transmission's on the ground, and I'm super excited about this. Guys, it literally took like an hour to pull this out. already loose so you know I don't know if they took them off in the right order or not but hopefully they did and so we got the head off and guys this looks straight that was a OEM head gasket uh, there's no grooves, I can't feel anything by fingernail in there, so I think we're good there. We're gonna check this for warpage. This is 2000s, and this will not, uh, that barely goes through, but guys, this is 2000s, and this deck is good, and we're gonna check the head now. Yeah, guys, this is there is no warpage in this thing at all. I can't even get a 2000 uh, Yeah, guys, we're good. Clean this up a bit. Clean the carbon off as best as we can. This doesn't have to be perfect. We're using a brass brush. That way it doesn't scratch everything up. Good thing about this is there's not much carbon on these pistons, so we're in good shape. Alright guys, so we got the engine all cleaned up and we are going to install this new Felpro head gasket. And guys, if you see on this, it is marked up, so you cannot put this on wrong. And we're just going to place this on here. Head cylinder. I cleaned up the bottom as well. And uh, we're getting ready to put this back on. And all you want to do, guys, is kind of line it up with those dowel pins. And uh, you can use the uh, bolt holes to line it up as well. Sit it on there. And that is good to go. Okay, guys, so... We got our head bolts here and guys, two bolts are longer than the rest of them. Those are gonna be your center bolts. So I'm just gonna dip those in a little bit of oil and tighten that on. And you can never use too much of this stuff, guys. Alright, guys, so we got all the cam caps on. And we're just gonna snug these down.
guys so we are going to put the wiring harness on first and what I like to do is start with the injector harness and once I start there I work my way all around and this thing is uh, pretty much plug-and-play so you can't really mess up with it Facebook Marketplace. Now they were on a car that caught fire. If you could see that in there, and then behind this wheel, it, it got all uh, burnt up there. But I mean, I don't think it didn't do any damage to the wheel. The wheel. Alright guys, so I'm just going to clean this thing off using some, uh, you know, car wash soap and microfiber towel, uh, towel washcloth. Now, right here is all black, but let me show you guys real quick. You see this? I just hit that with the scotch Bright really quick and let's put a little bit of water on it and it's already coming off. All right, guys, so we got these things cleaned up. This one came out a lot cleaner than I thought it would. All right, so we got these things all cleaned up, and that wheel came out so much better than I thought it would, guys. Now, guys, we pulled this wheel off, and these coilovers, we got to adjust them. All right guys, so to just lower this, I am turning this. I'm gonna bring it down about an inch. So we're just gonna throw this wheel on. 
Now that we got those uh, coilovers adjusted a little bit, throw that on there. Oh, these wheels are a lot bigger. The jack needs to come up, come up a little more. There we go. guys so we got these wheels on and guys I think they look great I cannot complain like I have 130 bucks into these after I sold the two tires not even that much so you know it's one of those things where this is what I got now the door on this Integra is destroyed it is just I would have to get this piece this top piece welded on, but there's a huge dent right here. Hinge to open it a little bit. And now that I got it open a little bit, I can just pick it up and pull it off. It's that simple. So we got the door off. And guys, I'm only about 15 minutes into this. Super easy. After to help the line it pretty easy. Even now, you're coming up to me, fire lighting up the sky. Feel the ground shaking underneath, trying to take me alive. Close it up there. From the bottom, just to get that in there. Guys, I want to get all of these bolts on before I tighten them down. Um, when I tighten them down, I'm going to hold it up, push in, and tighten it down. in here let's uh put this one in there kind of turn it at an angle right in there all right guys so we got those on and we are just gonna <laughs> that's actually working pretty good pull that out a little while we're pulling this we want to knock the edges down around it. body filler on and you know we're gonna let this dry up and as soon as this dries we'll start to sand the car down 
and uh, block sand it and level everything out. So it's looking good so far. <laughs> thing now there's a couple of small areas I gotta go over again but for the most part this thing is uh, ready to go and I'm excited <laughs> Liking it. Take all the tape and uh, masking paper off and. God hung off your life. Oh, you know, and I lost guys, myself again. You're just like a drug. This time I won't let you in. You're playing with fire. And I'm losing my mind. Yeah, 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 I'm losing my mind. Y
right guys, so we got this thing all taped up and it's ready to paint. We're gonna get started on that. And I'm super excited about this. It's looking pretty good. All right guys, so here's the paint I'm going to be using. Summit Racing paint. Now this is a uh, single stage. It is pure white. This is the color. If you guys are wondering, here's the uh, number. And this mixes four parts paint to one part activator. Now you can reduce this, but I'm not gonna reduce it. I actually like the way it sprays when it's not reduced. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, start spraying some paint. So we just let those coats of paint dry and this thing came out looking great. Now I'm pretty sure it'll look better in the sun, but you know, it's got a nice shine to it. And it's dry to the touch, so yeah, all of this is dry. So we're good to pull this off and I'm super excited about this, the way it's coming out. It's actually looking really good. All right guys, so we got all the tape off, everything, the car has dried, and guys, I, I have to tell you, I think it came out way better than I thought it would. Now, it's, uh, it's, the sun isn't really out, so I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a nice gloss to it. Now, this is a single stage paint job, so it's a single stage paint job, and for what it is guys this was a low buck paint job and i'm super excited about this now if you guys can see you know uh there's not too much orange peel now i could wet sand it and buff it but for what it is guys i think i'm gonna leave it the way it is and now you know this stuff in here i finished all of this stuff so we are going to start putting everything back together.